I'm Dr. Gordon Horn. When a person sustains a brain injury, quite often personality changes have been noted. And often it's noted by the family, and in some cases, maybe other healthcare professionals. There are really three ways to think about how you define personality. The first is looking at what we call cognitive measures, which are things like attention, memory, looking at decision making, looking at problem solving, the ability to manage impulse control. The cognitive piece helps us to adapt to an ever-changing environment. From the emotional component, you're looking at things such as anxiety, depression, behavior control, and you're looking at how those changes have occurred since the injury. One of the things that we often hear families report is that the person is different than what they were like prior to the injury. And although that is likely true, we have to make sure that we're not making too much in the way of comparisons from a person prior to the injury to where they are today. Rather, what we like to do is to look at how a person's functioning, and then we look to see if we can optimize that level of functioning. The third component is then looking at the social aspects. It's how a person adapts to being in an environment that's ever-changing. That could include being around other people, it can also include doing things such as going for coffee at a coffee shop, or going to a wedding, or going to some other social function. What families often report is that the changes in personality prevent them from being able to actually be in these more challenging social complex conditions. And as a result of that, that's part of what then changes. Being in specialized post-acute rehabilitation our goal is to help to evaluate those levels of personality changes, then to stabilize, and then to optimize personality functioning so that the person can do better and so that we can then see their best level of performance.